The most expensive places in the world are not always the richest countries. Sometimes they're in the poorest countries. Why? Because prices aren't just controlled by the cost of living. It also has to do with inflation spikes. Which means a cheeseburger in Venezuela could be the same as a cheeseburger in Switzerland. Here are the five most expensive places I've been to. Number one, Santorini, Greece. Greece has more tourists per year than the actual population itself. A combination of COVID-19, an economic crisis over the past five years, and that booming tourist industry have made the Greek islands like Mykonos and Santorini insanely expensive to visit. Think $15 beers, $70 hookahs, and more than $200 for a nice meal. On my first day in Santorini a few months ago, I spent over $1,000 by doing normal tourist activities. Number two, Switzerland. One of the things that most of these countries have in common is that imports drive prices up. I know you guys are here for travel content, not an economics lecture, but bear with me. Countries like Switzerland that are isolated by mountains or oceans need groceries to be imported from places where they grow naturally, which means that it just costs more. Combine that with a high GDP and amazing nature views, and Switzerland is somewhere you can burn $1,000 in about a day. However, I did make a new friend whose family owned a cheap Tibetan restaurant in Lucerne. Number three, Oslo, Norway. Our last European city on this list, Oslo, has something different than inflation or tourism going on. The reason that Norway is known to be so expensive is that the standard of living is one of the highest in the world. With the extreme high taxes comes a higher salary, free healthcare, and free education. Basically, everything in Norway is free for the cost of living. And if you want to eat, almost nothing is less than 10 bucks. The only thing I could find for under that was a sausage from Circle K. Number four, Kuwait. Kuwait is only expensive if you're not Kuwaiti. Why? Because the Kuwaiti dinar is the most powerful currency in the world. I took out 100 bucks of my bank account at the ATM and I only ended up with 30 dinars. I feel like I just got robbed. That's how crazy the exchange rate is. The reason this happens is that Kuwait's exports are more valuable than its imports since it has 10% of the world's oil reserves. Luckily, once you're actually paying with the currency, things aren't that bad. I got 70 liters of gasoline for 7 dinars or about 20 bucks. Number five, Luanda, Angola. This next one might come to you by surprise. Luanda, Angola is home to the most expensive apartments in all of Africa. Some of them are over $10 million. A bag of dog food, 100 bucks. A MacBook Pro, 4,000 bucks. And one month of rent in a decent apartment is a whopping $12,000 a month. Much like Kuwait, Luanda has huge oil reserves. But because of government corruption and dramatic changes in the economy, there's a short supply for housing with a huge demand, making prices really high. The economy has grown extremely fast, but the infrastructure, which is the housing, food, and transit situation that makes life in a country run, has not caught up. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed these most expensive countries, but more importantly, I hope you learned a little bit about economics and what makes prices so dang expensive in different countries. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.